Now I'm in the process of doing uh, background fill. I had to practice a little bit before I actually put it on tape. But um, some people call this the one, two, three. Some people call it um, a peacock. I don't really know what the official term for is it term for um, that they use. But what I do is I make a loop. I do one loop and then I echo it a couple of times. Sometimes I'll go around it two times, sometimes three times, sometimes four times. There's different variations of it. Um, this one, I, this what I've been doing is just sort of kind of alternating, sometimes going around it two times, sometimes three times, and it gives it a little bit different look. So if you can see this, I'm going to do one, two, three. That one only got three. One, two. Three. That one only got three, but I'll do four on this one, just to try it. Three, four, one, two, three. And as I come to the edge here, sometimes I just go back and forth. And I'm going to make, I need to make another loop to kind of fill in that area. It's hard going, it's hard getting it in, well, it's not hard, but this is the tricky part, is getting it towards the edge. To make it look like it just all fit in. Two, three. I'm going to make another loop over here to try to get, get them to go a different direction. You, you kind of want to get them, you don't want them to look like they're um, uniform. Sometimes I tend to do that on the edges. I forget to turn them. I'm going to turn the opposite way here and kind of go back. So that one's got a lot of. You know, and then I just kind of fill in. Let me look at that. I just kind of fill in where I can and maybe backtrack to go into a different area. Come back over here. Now it's starting to look like a little flower, so we're going to have to definitely have to change it, change directions a little bit so it's not looking too uniform. Here I have a little bit. That's not looking too good, but some of you do these things every day, and I am so out of practice. This is basically for the new people, so that they can see that it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> and don't get too caught up with it being perfect, because in the end, you know, if you're off, if, if some of your loops turn, turn into squares and things like that, Overall, it's just not going to be noticeable. You'll have more good sections than you will have bad sections. Well, that'll have to do.